It was an age of marvels, as any of the nearly nine million visitors to the Centennial Exposition could attest. Opened on May 10, 1876, on a sprawling 236-acre tract in Philadelphia's Fairmount Park. The exposition marked America's dramatic debut as the world's leading industrial power. Here was a steam engine so massive that it could run hundreds of machines simultaneously. An elevator that enabled a man to make an eight-story climb while standing still. And a battery-operated pen that produced multiple copies of a document at one time. The American invents, as the Greek sculpted and the Italian painted, the Times of London reported. It is genius. But of all the wonders and evidence that spring of 1876, none was more astonishing than Alexander Graham Bell's telephone, a revolutionary device that converted sound waves into an electrical signal and promised to replace the telegrapher's dots and dashes with the sound of the human voice. When Bell unveils his invention, Western Union turns to Edison and says, this is important, we'd like you to look into this. For Edison, there were few more powerful catalysts than competition. I don't care too much for a fortune, he once said, as I do for getting ahead of the other fellows. Bell, college educated and bankrolled by his future father-in-law, was the ideal adversary. Thomas Edison had no real deep, abiding collegial respect for Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell existed as someone to be competed with and overcome and transcended and bettered. Edison saw competition as sort of a crucial spur to the inventive enterprise. He said, an inventor needs an enemy. You know, he thought he was the best inventive brain around. And also he had his laboratory, which could outdo anybody else. It would take Edison and his team mere months to design a device that trumped bells, a so-called carbon button transmitter that carried sound over much longer distances and turned the telephone into a commercially viable device. In the process, Edison stumbled upon the invention that would change his life forever. 